I never turned to Let's Play Avernum. You step out of Fort Avernum and get your first good look at your new home. You are at the east end of an enormous cavern many miles across. In the dim green light you can look out through the mist and see a huge forest of the strange fungal trees. A dark river flows by to the south, and to the west you can dimly make out the lights of a town. Although you're far underground, it's not as quiet and peaceful as you thought it would be. Sounds echo well in this cavern. You can dimly make out the hisses of lizards, flowing water, and, unnervingly, the growls of distant humanoids. Your journey into Avernum is about to begin. Okay. Let's go see if there's any secrets. Oh. Okay. Well. I wish you could kind of click on those things. So this is the overmap. Holy shit. There's a patrol of Avernite militiamen watching the road between Fort Avernum and Silvar. Their weapons and armor are crude and dented, clearly passed down from warrior to warrior for decades. They warn you to watch out for goblins and bandits, and then continue their patrol. I thought that was an encounter of enemies there for a minute. Okay. Well, it looks like there's stuff over there. How do I get over there? Let's go see if I can walk on these rocks. I cannot. Is there something here? No. I'm gonna have to get used to what is actually something on the ground. Okay, should I go to the hut first, or the town? Let's go to the hut. Hut. I can't do anything with the hut. There's a camp out here, though. Let's give this a look. You see, in the middle of this grove of twisted trees, a huge group of gremlins. These strange, manic creatures are rare on the surface. They're very cherry, but sometimes very volatile and dangerous. Strangely, this group don't seem happy at all. In fact, they seem downright suicidal. They lie around on their backs, shaking their heads and occasionally sobbing. Occasionally sobbing. Let's approach and talk to them. You carefully step forward. Some of them approach and sniff you. They seem to be smelling for something. Soon, they decide that you are completely uninteresting. Then they rush forward and unceremoniously kick you out of their grove. When you look back, you see that they've returned to their apathetic, mournful state. You must not have had anything that cheers them up. Interesting. Well, let's find out what that's about, then. Okay, we have entered the East Gallery. Gallery. Eastern Gallery. Um, can I talk to a guard? No. You enter one of Avernum's cities. Well, they would call it a city. By Empire standards, it's a miserable collection of crumbling stone hovels perched on the shore of a black, icy river. The dim green glow of the luminescent moss above gives everything an eerie look. As you enter, one of the guards mutters, Welcome to Silvar, newcomer. Strangers are welcome here, if they watch themselves. They wave you by. Okay. I was looking for someone. Who was that? The mayor. Let's talk to Carol, and maybe loot her stuff. That's not a euphemism. The strangely familiar smell of baking fills the air. Ooh, maybe she'll make me bread. Uh, it smells like bread, and yet it's off somehow. There's a pale woman working behind the counter. She has the jitters. She says, I'm Carol. We have bread for sale, if you want. <laughs> what do you make here? Well, you can buy bread and other food. I have some cows. How do you like raising cows? Well, I try to take care of the poor deers. I'd love to sell you some milk. She chuckles for no apparent reason. But whenever I'm out with them, I hear noises. Noises, you say? Yes, out behind my shop. Clunking and stuff. Makes me nervous. That much is obvious. By the way, how did you get cows down here? Sometimes the Empire is merciful and sends a few cows through the portal at Fort Avernum. Most of them die down here. A few have adapted, though. They're pale and sickly, but they survive on fungus. They're a good source of milk and meat. Uh, I suppose you have to make do with what you can. True enough. Most of the time, though, we just eat giant lizards. Even though the fungus the cows eat makes their milk and meat disgusting, they're still a luxury compared to lizard meat. 
you bake bread in a vertum? Yes, but with mushroom flour. It doesn't work. Not really. I mean, it's food, but... Oh, how I missed the surface. So it's like... Mushroom matzah? I'd like to buy some food. Uh, I don't need to buy that kind of food, actually. Price is slightly expensive. Yeah, indeed. I was hoping that uh, I could sort of give her that flower and she would make me some... Uh, bread. Mushrooms. Okay. It's just a bucket. Okay, so she said there was some crap behind her house. Let's go have a look at that. I imagine touching that blue stuff will send us out of town. Okay, so... Can't do any of that. I wonder if maybe there's a spell for water walking. This guy was asleep on the job. Guards in this game don't seem too thrilled about what they're doing. A job board up ahead. Let's go look at that. There's a cave wood board at the south end of this path hanging from two posts. Several sheets of papyrus have been tacked to it. This must be a job board where people in need of assistance can post appeals for help. Okay. Okay, so it's just a bunch of quests. Uh, we'll come back to this. I have work for you. Ah, that must be the mayor. Mayor Jonathan. A young man in nice, well-cut robes shuffles pa papers behind a desk. A fine cloth sash, only somewhat threadbare, crosses his chest. A gold amulet hangs from around his neck. He seems pleased to see you. The new arrival, I see. Glad that you made it to see me. I am Jonathan, mayor of Silvar, one of the six proud cities of Avernum. I would very much like to speak with you. Uh... Okay, I would be happy to speak with you. Your courtesy does you credit. This is a harsh land, but not entirely uncivilized. I simply wanted to ask. You are here. It is done. It cannot be undone. What are your plans from here? Um... I want to escape this prison. I imagine this is a decision question here. A common sentiment. Alas, it is impossible. Not according to that one guy that we met earlier. Uh, we are far, we are too far underground, and the Empire has done too good a job closing off the bolt holes. Still, if you are determined, you are welcome to try. Before you go, however, I can provide you with some employment. A way, perhaps, to use your skills. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. Have a seat. We can discuss our humble settlement and what I am trying to do to improvement. Uh, what do you do here? I am the mayor of this fine city and a member of the Avernum Council. Keeps me busy. My farm has been sadly neglected during my tenure. Uh, what is the Avernum Council? Well, Avernum has six large cities and this is one of them. The mayors of each form a council, which co-rules with King Micah. It works very well, actually, and I'm proud to be a member. Does the Empire know that we have a government down here? The Empire may control everyone and everything on the surface, but it knows precious little about what happens down here. We have our own laws, our own customs, and our own history. Okay. Tell me what you're wearing. Are you referring to my sash and my amulet? They are the symbols of my power as mayor and counselor. What does the amulet do? It can be used to send me messages from the castle, the capital of all of Ernum. It is in the Great Cave. Alas, the power does not extend to me sending messages back. What does the sash do? Hang from my shoulder and require laundering. It's only powerful as a symbol. And yet, symbols can be very effective. Uh, tell me more about the job. Silvar is digging out a sewer. The excavation is taking place under our feet. Alas, this work is stalled as the tunnels below us have been infested with worms. Big ones. If you can go below and find how the creatures are entering the tunnels under my city, I will present you with both a reward and some valuable advice. Uh, why are you building a sewer? For exactly the same reason anyone anywhere ever builds a sewer. And in these caves, as it is much harder for waste to rot away, it is an urgent issue. Otherwise things get very disgusting. So, uh, how can I enter the sewers? There are two entries. In the northwest and northeast corners of the city, the northwest entrance will place you closer to the infestation. 
can you give me the reward and advice now? First, let me see a demonstration of your skills. That will tell me how uh, uh, much about how. Mm -hmm. That will tell me much about how a vernum can make best make use of you. Wow. Okay. Now I kind of think, like I've got adventurer's intuition here, and I'm thinking that this noise, this uh, Carol was talking about, would maybe imply that there's a secret entrance back here. Uh, it's locked. Uh, level 6 lock. You know, I should probably write down where all these locked doors are so I can remember. What the hell is that? A living statue. Let's go look. There's a small peculiar park in the middle of this town. Several of the Avernum trees, half wood, half fungus, surround a small pond. There are neither lily pads nor ducks. There is, however, a lot of lichen, and tiny lizards frolic about. Strange. You hear someone humming nearby, but the sound doesn't seem to be coming from any of the townsfolk. You look closer at the statue. It's cleaner than the others, and a much nicer piece of craftsmanship to boot. Then it winks at you. Hey, you're a living statue. What are you doing here? I just stand here. Watch. Listen. It starts humming gently, unconcerned about your presence. Great. Alright, let's uh, go a little further down. Um. Oh, boat. Can I... You can't board this boat. It's not your property. Can I... How do I get a boat? Well, I see uh, a body over there. Let's go in here. Ooh, someone makes boats. Quince. You meet a burly man. He's wearing a belt covered with tools. His skin is incredibly pale, almost translucent. His workshop is well equipped to work the strange fungal wood that grows down here. Some of it has been worked into a small boat, which is almost complete. The man notices you looking at it. I'm Krantz, and this is a boat. <laughs> Thank you. I build them. What do you build here? <laughs> a lot of things, but mainly boats. There's a big call for them in these caves. You can get one for not much gold. He shakes his head. Hope you do. The slithes have been hell for my business. Anyway, if you want to purchase one, say so. They're on sale. 350 gold. Uh, where did the sliths live? There's droves of them to the west, on the other side of that huge lake, and that pretty much... And they pretty much own it. People don't fish there anymore. Too risky. Of course, people also need boats to get to the Great Cave to the south. We didn't have sliths on the surface. No. The Slith Zerakai, as far as I know, are only live down here. Not all of them are evil. I heard there's a settlement of them in the Great Cave that can get along with humans. Most of them, though, crave our flesh. They can swim for a long time underwater. We, on the other hand, need boats like mine to get around. Only 350 gold, if I haven't mentioned. Um... Man, that's expensive. I wonder if I can... Oh, what the hell. You pay him. Excellent. Help yourself to one of the boats at the dock outside. Well, that uh, is what I came for. Oh. <laughs> wow. 200. Yeah, okay. What the hell? Didn't even bother to see if someone else was looking at me here. As you can tell, I'm not exactly going to be a uh, goody two shoes adventurer. Okay, well, now I know I have a boat, and I. This is locked. Uh, who had the tool skill? Okay, you know what? I need to look at this and make sure I know. Uh, nimble fingers. Your tool use is increased by one, so I imagine that means I have one. Is there a... No, that's all combat, so that wouldn't be... Okay, so I imagine I need to build up my nimble fingers. I don't even know what that is. Grubber's weapons? Out of business? So there's like a cache of weapons in there, maybe? 
Can we go in the back? Ooh, what's that? Ballista. I'm watching you. Yeah, I bet you are. Okay, well, there's just a bunch of wooden crap. Can I pick that up? I can. Um, there's really no reason to, though. Unless I could have maybe got an option where I could have talked to him and he would have been like, hey, I need wood and a saw. Um, before we go down there, because I have a feeling that's where the major area of the uh, next section is. This is the... Adventurer is greatly needed. Inquire at the castle. So, obviously, it's a tavern. No rooms left. Let's talk to Chuck. You meet a man in battered armor. He seems to be drinking himself into a stupor. Are you a soldier? No, a mercenary. Are you fighting anyone right now? Yeah, everyone. Fighting the cat heads. Then the sliths. Then the cat heads. Then the sliths. Hell, I've been beat up by everybody. I'm on vacation now. Go away. Okay. Gary. The barkeep busily polishes the counter. He's tall and sports a very ambitious beard. He greets you when you walk up to the bar. I'm Gary, he says, and this is my inn. You have the look of a new arrival about you. You can buy a round of mushroom ale if you like. I just don't want to hear any complaining. Um... Any advice on how to stay alive in Avernum? That's a good question. A lot of people come through here asking for my advice. I suggest doing for a living down here what you did on the surface, as long as it isn't harmful to anyone, of course. Did you run an inn on the surface? Yes. Unfortunately, unknown to me, several rebels were using my place as a base of operation. When the Empire found out, they died. Then, to play it safe, I was sent to Avernum. Not fair, but since when has the Empire been fair? Uh, any jobs? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm very interested in finding a natural hot spring. If so, I could profitably expand my innkeeping operation. If you find a nice spring, let me know. I'll pay you well. Where would I find that? If I knew, I wouldn't have offered you money to find it, now would I? But I'd look in the Eastern Gallery. There must be something like that nearby. Uh, okay, wasn't that where I was? When I entered this zone, it came up saying that, I think. Ooh. Uh, nothing really worth stealing. Okay. Oh, was there... There was Jay here. This is a young, well-built man sitting and drinking ale. He is weighed down with two heavy leather bags and a broadsword. He motions for you to join him. I'm Jay. It's good to meet a fellow warrior down here. Though now I'm just a pitiful refugee. <laughs> Are you a warrior? Like, either I am a terrible listener, or... <laughs> The dialogue options here are ridiculous. Uh, you're a refugee? What are you fleeing from? Well, I tried to sign on as a warrior at Fort Dun Dovno. That's some 20 miles to the north. I wasn't welcome. Then the Nephilim started coming south, and I decided to move to a more hospitable territory. The Nephilim? Are there many of them in Avernum? Yeah, many. The kittens are starting trouble again. They're building some sort of a fort at the north end of this huge cave. It's small now, but nobody's doing anything about it. Soon it'll be big. Then, watch out. Hmm. You could find out a lot more about it at Fort Dovno. Go east to Fort Avernum, then north. Okay. Well, let's go have a looky-loo behind here. Now there's an axe on the ground. Hatchet. Cannot be used as a weapon. Ah, okay, that's a uh, sewer right there. And just junk. Uh, this looks like a barracks. Hall of Training. Ignorance cured for a reasonable fee. Young warrior. These young men are natives of Avernum. They are swinging wooden weapons at these targets. Their teacher shouts and occasionally swats at them. It's not unlike training on the surface. Eric Three Scars. You see a big scarred man. The reddish lines on his face stand out starkly against his fishy white skin. He is watching two young Avernite warriors strike practice dummies with cavewood swords. He turns to you when you approach. You. 
You have the look of the warrior about you. I'm Eric, but they call me Three Scars. I can train you if you have the coin. Uh, how did you get those scars? The first I encountered some bandits while wandering the areas around Silvar. Be wary if you travel to the north. Bandits set traps for those such as you. And the second? One of the spears of the Slith Zerakai. There are many of them in the Eastern Gallery, not far west from here. Don't go west unless you're ready to fight. And the third? Nosy, aren't you? I earned the third fighting an Imperial soldier that was stealing from my village. Didn't kill him. If I had, I'd be dead. Instead, they sent me down here. Okay, what do you do here? I train people. Then, when they go out into the caves, they end up torn up like me. Uh, what sort of things can you teach? Well, I can make you faster on your feet. Down in Avernum, the slower dead. Interested? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. And I imagine he could teach me strength or something else, but... Uh, I don't have the money or the interest, and I can't apparently get over there to see what that is. It's apparently nothing. Here's Ephraim. This building seems... Con uh, wow, wow. This building contains a small crude smithy, mainly suitable for small work and minor repairs. Several windows in the east wall help the acrid smoke to escape. You notice a large polished blade hanging on the west wall. A small man works at the stone counters, helping to keep the battered weaponry of Avernum in good repair. Greetings, I'm Ephraim. Are you in charge of this smithy? Yes, you can buy or sell weapons here. Don't have much of a stock out here. It's hard to get good metal. We do our best. So, I can't trade him. Price is expensive, indeed. So what, I've got like a bronze short sword, and probably a couple crude... And then I think everyone else has daggers. I could give them spears. Um, but let me sell him a lot of this stuff. Now, I've got metal here, but apparently I can't do anything with that. And these amphora apparently do nothing. They're not worth anything, so why did I pick them up? Uh, let's sell him that. Oh, wait a minute. Sell all in your bag. Okay, let's... Uh, well, I kind of wanted those dice. Whatever. Uh, let's also sell that gold ring. What did that just do? So... Okay, so... Oh, okay, I see. What? Press the OK button to sell... You know what? Can I just pick this up and, like... I see, okay, I see how it I see how it works. So I've got very little money. Um uh, inventory, yes. Okay, so he's got daggers. Crude halberd. Uh might be good for him. Now wait a minute. What are my What are my skills? I have pole weapons and swords, but she is more suited for the pole weapons. Uh, apparently he doesn't care that I just go through his stuff. Um, okay, so let's have a look here. But see, he doesn't sell... I mean, I could get that spear. I imagine that counts as a pole weapon. I only need one more to get the bronze spear, which would be a much smarter idea. Um, right now I'm dual wielding. Okay, well, let's uh, mosey on. I will have to come back. Now, I'm not sure how I could just... I guess maybe if he was looking that way, I could steal that pole arm. Uh, Anastasia, ah, I needed to talk to you. Behind the counter, there is a middle-aged woman wearing a thick leather jerkin. 
A pair of suits of armor are displayed behind her. On the surface, they would be thrown into the trash. Down here, they are almost priceless. She nods to you. A customer? Then welcome to you. I am Anastasia, and this is my shop. We buy and sell here. Um, let me see your wares. Okay, there's a nice shield there. Well, nicer. Slightly expensive price here. Uh, let's just talk to her here. I met someone named Warwick. She's looking for you. She's in Fort Avernum. Really? My sister is down here? That's terrible. I was hoping she would be able to evade the Empire's bastards. Thank you for letting me know. If you see her again, please tell her that I will have brought... I will have her brought here as soon as possible. Have you been able to get your sister yet? Not yet. It's difficult to find someone who can bring her here. With so many bandits about, not that many caravans are going to Fort Avernum. Soon, though, we'll be able to fetch her here. Well, could... could I? Ooh, Iron Shield. I wonder if there's like a day-night cycle thing where they will eventually leave. Or maybe I can like convince her to go. Is there anything back here? Looks like there's a nice pile of junk and there's that entrance. Okay, uh, before we go down the sewers, let's go get that expensive damn boat. I sell proper boats. Okay, see, so now he's actually out of his his uh, store. So I could plunder. Get out of my way. Um, you can't board the boat. It's not your property. Okay, I was going to say, are you trying to jip me here? How do I disembark? To get off the boat, row next to land and click on the boat. You see shapes ahead, lurking in the ever-present shadows. You try to back away unnoticed, but they smell you. They're goblin spies. The goblins were a common pest on the surface until the Empire started to wipe them out. Most of them were killed, but a large number of them were dumped into Avernum. Once here, they bred like mad. Now they're your problem. Okay. So... I've got a goblin shaman and two warriors. I imagine I need to take out the shaman first. I'm going to do a well-aimed blow. And I'm going to... Destroy him. Nice. Uh, well, why don't I do that? At the same time... It, combat skills aren't high enough. Oh. That's disappointing. Can't reach it. Shit. Can I just wait? I should really change that so that I can change the order of combatants. I can see that being a problem right now. Now I'm just going to uh, use my javelin instead. Now can I come... Nope. So let's do a protection spell, just because, and I will go ahead and, let's see, this causes them to lose a turn, I think. Well, one did. Okay. Very nice. Um, now can you get up here? No because I can't apparently jump over a freaking corpse. I probably should not be wasting those like that. Okay, let's smite. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think we can end combat now. And they didn't leave anything. Damn! Alright. Well, let's check the body here. I got some pants, a robe, which is plus 6% armor, which is not actually better at all because everyone's wearing leather. We'll take the pants, the boots. Now oh, there's a necklace. It's worth 200. 
2% to hostile effect resistance. Whatever that means. And a bronze spear. Wow. Okay, well, we will uh, not completely strip the body. So you get that. I guess I need that. Uh, pants and boots. I guess you get those. Yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, give her the boots as well, just because she doesn't have a lot of armor. Yeah. Okay. Well, so was that like a hidden... I wonder if that was a hidden quest and I can go back, because, you know, when I was down in that first level, and uh, that woman told me about the, uh, about, uh, what was his name? The bandit dude. Um, is that on the floor there? Oh, my. Uh, that wasn't actually registered as a quest. So... Here we go. We killed some goblins hiding behind your store. Oh, thank you. I will be so much less worried now, I think. But then, if there were some goblins back there before, there could be more later, couldn't there? Oh dear, oh dear, I'm more worried than ever now. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to record just for the hell of it. I don't think I actually have to do that. In fact, I probably shouldn't. Okay, so... We can go down the sewers now. But... I don't think I'm going to. The, uh... The video here is going to be done soon. I think instead I'm going to head back here and uh, tell what's her face. Now, where was she? In here? Yes. I've met Anastasia. She is staying in Silvar. Really? Oh, thank you. She stands and embraces you. My sister and I were foolish enough to question the Empire slaying all the Nephilim in our province. We were sent down here, one after the other. I am poor, and there's little I can do for you. Oh, I can think of some things you can do for me. However, I will be sure to tell all I meet of the kind travelers who took pity on me in my time of need. I have managed to see her. I have sent a message to her. The roads are dangerous, so I do not want to try to travel there alone. Soon we will be reunited, though. I am sure of it. So why... Why didn't either of them ask me to do an escort mission? Or is it just because they don't really want the NPCs to disappear? Uh, that could be. Okay, so, um... Back we go. Just one last check-in, just to see if there's any more dialogue options. Because that is one thing that the manual emphasizes, is that, uh, that uh, you need to talk to everyone. You know, did I just spend 350 gold on a boat that I could only go to that one place? Because it looks like those rocks are keeping me in here. Oh, no. Never mind. So I can actually go over here now. Which is uh, what I was thinking of earlier. No, can we just... I, I just... I want to go back here. I want to go back to freaking town. Alright. Um, so, which trapdoor... Uh... He said the west one, right? He said the west one would bring me closer to the corruption. So that means that if I want the experience from fighting, 
I should probably go all the way over here. You know what? Before we end the video, let's go ahead and look at all these other missions. Picks and shovels. There's a note from Ephraim the Smith. It reads, I have been tasked to find supplies to recover ore for Silvar. I will pay in coin for three picks and three shovels. Ah, so I can go pick up those saws and crap that I've been finding. I mean, he's not asking for saws, but I imagine that the crap I need is lying around. So, I will do that. Misplaced knowledge. To whoever reads this, I have learned that there may be scrolls in the bandit keep northwest of Fort Dovno. Such papers contain magical knowledge, something very rare in the underworld. If these papers exist and are brought to me, I will reward my helper with powerful paperwork of my own devising. Signed, Walner of Fort Dovno. Or Walner. Bat swarms. I have been losing carts of rations and ale to swarms of bats. They come from somewhere northeast of Fort Dovno. I'm sick of it. I'll pay a bounty in coin and steel to the first adventurer who can track these pests to their lair and slay ten of them. Kill ten bats. The bounty can be collected from Gary the innkeeper. Okay, message. Fort Dovno. I'm Jay, a warrior fresh from the service. I wish to fight under Captain Johnson of Fort Dovno, but he refuses to speak with me. If any can speak to him on my behalf, I would be grateful. I can be found in the inn in Silvar. Please tell him that he can find me here. Okay. Okay, that didn't, uh, there was nothing in here. Okay. So, let's go up here. And, uh, call it a, v uh, wait a minute. Let's take it off then. There we go. So now I can probably put, no, not in the junk. Wait, I just want to put that, actually, no, wait a minute, what am I doing? I give to you. that in a junk give you the one javelin that you've been hanging on to. Okay. We should be good to go now. I've still got that rope for whatever reason. And uh, everyone's got their food. Looks like we've got the lanterns. Okay. Good to go. So, next time, we will enter the sewers.